everyone, it's Sammy from Sammy's Sweet Life and we are doing a plan with me. It's actually Monday, so I've got quite a bit of stuff already in the works and I wanna show you a couple of new-ish things. So, I was using this Kit Life little, you know, pop-up, pop-up, stand-up thingamabob for my normal set of pens and I was taking it back and forth between here and the living room and area and stuff and I decided I wanted to switch into my brand new Planny Pack. This is something I got at the Erin Condren event. It is a new thing and it is Monday, so it's actually the launch, but you guys won't see this on time. You'll see it next weekend. So all of the new planner goodies are out from Erin Condren and I thought I would stick all of my same goodies from this little pop-up thing into the Planny Pack. So I've got all of my most used pens, Tombows, dot pens, my whiteout, this is just from H-E-B. I just get whatever one I can find. And then also one brush pen in here, and that way I can keep it contained. Um, and then I have my two favorite pens on the outside. Right now I'm using the Inner Gel Planner for my Sterling Ink Common Planner, which is Tomoe River Paper, and then all the other planners, I've been using the S Gel Pen. This is the Sharpie S Gel Pen, and I really like these like champagne -y colored barrels. It's a metal barrel, so it's really nice, and I have trouble getting it back on there. There we go. Um, so I've got all these. I end up changing out some of these colors from month to month, but I've been keeping in the uh, gray and the pink and also the gray dot pen. I've been changing out whatever else I have. I've got a few of the new, I think they're called Mild Smoky. I picked out two of those and then one pink one. Yeah, my favorite mild liner stays in here, but sometimes I'll have other colors. And that way I've got all of my little pen buddies contained and I can take that back and forth. And then I decided to put in my new writing utensils in here. These are the Inspire themed sets. It comes with the dual tip marker and then also the chisel tip highlighter. So it's got six colors of each one. So we we'll just put them in there. I did end up ordering the wildflowers ones as well. I really like the colors of the wildflowers ones and I think they will fit in here as well. So that's my first change up I did. I'm excited to have this bright pretty thing in my little planner box. I took this away from Cloudlet earlier and stuck it in here. But this is my little planner box with all my stickers and sticker kits and things and then I keep my sterling ink in here and now I'll put this on top. And that's my little caddy thing that I carry back and forth all the time. Sometimes a big planner will sit underneath it. So that's my main thing. And then as far as planning for this week, I went ahead and did this already. I really just wanted to play around with these new Hubman and Chub Girl stickers. They are from the pink stationery kit. I did end up getting that full kit, including the actual book. I ended up getting the full box of stuff. And so I have got this one too. It's just a dot grid. And I decided to use it in this planner. And this is the Sprouted Weekly Planner. And I think it's so pretty. I like the way that this one is kind of like narrowed down. It gives you a lot of functional space as well for the week, but your main week to week stuff is narrowed down and I decided to divide it out with activities being on the line side and then just a top three on the checklist side. And then I've got just a weekly running to-do list that I can check things off as needed. And then for the grid, I decided to track sleep and working out. And then for this blank space, I wanted to put in like one thankful thought for the day. So Stella started a new preschool today. And so I wrote that a successful first day of preschool. So very exciting for that. I can add to the to-do list throughout the week and check things off as needed. And then down here, I thought I would just like summarize how the week went down here. And I just really liked the way that this one set up. I liked being able to put the little headers on there with the Hubman and Chub Girl kit. I just decorated it a little bit. And I put our main like activities for the week on here. And in this case, a non-activity, no school day for that. And then also because it was her first day of preschool, I did go ahead and outline my day. I started it using the same top three up here, but I found that the skinny side of this was super duper light. And then I tried to use the darker side and it's still pretty light, it's still pretty light. So I don't know that I would use this for writing all the time. I think I'd use it for more of like an accent pen, but I was really trying to just use something more colorful and um, yeah, it was a fail. I don't like the way that it looks on here, but I thought it was cute. I don't know what I would use these bigger spaces for since I already have the spaces built in on my weekly thing. And because of the way like our days will flow, I don't know that I'll use a daily page all the time, but I will for her preschool days. I feel like it'll be very helpful to have those days kind of outlined and what I plan on doing during the time she's in preschool, like use my time wisely. So that's there and I like that they have the bookmark and they also have the string if you want to use the string. I'm just going to use the bookmark for this and also for this page. I've got the bookmark in and by the way they're both sprouted. 
planners that I'm going for this week. I really, really like these. I have full walkthroughs of these guys on the channel. Look down below and I'm pretty sure I have a coupon code for them as well. Include that in the description box as well. I think they're beautiful and I'm excited to work with these and play around with these a little bit this week. I find that this paper did really well. Which one? The Daily Planner. The paper did really well with this. This is an Erin Condren marker. Yes, it's a lighter color, but still it's an actual marker. It's not a pen. And look at that. It's beautiful. You can't really see. It's a good, nice quality paper that's in this. So happy with those. And that's going to be what the week looks like. I also ended up doing my reflection last night. There it is. Okay. So I'm still kind of working on my goals for the week. I had trouble with my pen. I don't know what the deal was, but I had to go back over and trace a bunch. And you can see it just looks really not great. I, my pen was just skipping. I don't know what happened. I wrote out my, what worked, what didn't, lessons learned, adjustments. And then for my wins this week, I had some gaps. I didn't end up filling up a lot of it. I will go back and highlight all of that. And then I've got my goals for the most part started. I don't have anything written in these two categories. I'm just kind of like jumping from category to category when I was doing this. And then I think dinner was ready. I think that's what ended up happening here. So I'll go ahead and grab my thing and finish these up real quick. So I'm way behind on editing. I ended up doing Pelafondo this weekend. We had a travel weekend recently and it's just been a lot. It was crazy. We had quadruple kid activities and I did my Pelafondo later in the day. We had activities from 8 a.m all the way to 2.30 and it was insane on Saturday. So it really like sucked up a lot of my, what would have been like freer time. The kids will play at home really well. So I can sneak away and do a little editing and stuff here and there. Um, did not happen this weekend at all. And yeah, I've got one cool video coming up. By the time you guys see this, it will already go up on the channel, which will be fun. And then as far as personal, I'm really just gonna try to stick to my AM PM routines. I've been really, really bad about the PM routine. I feel like I do great start of the day, get my stuff done. And by the end of the day, I'm too lazy and tired to come in here and work on PM routine. So like my PM routine needs to happen like right after the kids get tucked into bed. And you know what? I've been, oops, I can't write and talk, of course, always. Um, I have been laying in bed with Stella. She got a new big girl bed and she wants me to lay in bed with her for a couple of minutes and we talk about our day, but I'll try to encourage her to shut her eyes and start getting sleepy. Well, it makes me sleepy, like laying in the dark bed with her. So I think that's also part of me like feeling way sleepier in the evening as I do have that little bit of relax, wind down time with her in a dark room. And I'm like, okay, mommy needs a bedtime now. So yeah, like right as I come downstairs, I need to hop in here, do my PM planning stuff and then I'll get it done. I wrote it in my adjustments too. I need to do that earlier. And then what else? Japanese practice. I actually did quite a bit of Japanese practice this week. I was so proud of myself. And I think that's it. I'm keeping it really light. It's going to be uh, another semi-busy weekend. We've got a few bigger things going on and kids activities up the wazoo with softball and dance going on. So it's a busy week, but there's what it looks like. And I think that's it for now. Let's talk about what happened last week. I ended up using the Wonderland 222 planner and I really liked it. I didn't end up filling out the end box. I thought maybe I'd put gratitude here, but I already stick that in my uh, Sterling Ink Common Planner. So I didn't really do that, but I love the way all the rest of it looks. Um, I like that I have like a little bit of an hourly section, a top section here for other activities, and then my little to-do list. And like you can see, like I write it out, don't necessarily check things off, but really like the act of writing them all out. And um, yeah, this box still to be determined. So I probably could just leave this whole thing as a schedule and make this just the to-do list. It didn't end up needing to go past the little box. So it's probably the same size as that box. Um, and yeah, weekend was really nice having it all stacked up together. Then I could just see what our whole weekend looks like. I'm a huge, huge fan of this one. I will definitely be dabbling with this one more. This one will be reviewed on this channel very, very soon, like walking through all of it and showing you guys all the pages. but. For now, I feel like this is a big success. I like this one a lot. I did end up doing one content planning thing. I went ahead and stuck down stickers. I'm just covering up some content, but I ended up stickering all of May up with the May kit goodies. I ended up using up most of the stickers from my March kit and sticking all of the extra goodies because I pretty much got everything from this collection. So I stick all of them in these two little flaps so that I can have them all. And I went ahead and decorated all of my May things up through the beginning of June. And they all look the same, very similar concept. I've got my YouTube 
channel videos here, my Instagram content here. This is the to create, this is the to edit, and sometimes I just write to film here, but I have these cute little stickers that I got a really long time ago. It also has a notes one. So this is my notes side, and then I decorate this a little bit with some cute little stickers here and there. And so all of the May ones look very similar, but I've written in some content that I'm already forward planning a little bit, but I really like being able to decorate it. I use some of the monthly stickers for this. And then I ended up finishing off these. These are both from My Little Puppy. I went ahead and used up the rest of the sticker sheets and stuck them down until I ran out of those stickers. And then I'll use different ones for each little section, but I was getting low on those sheets and I wanted to go ahead and use them up. So I really like the way that these turned out and I will do the same thing when my June get when my June kit gets here. I'll decorate it a little bit. And I don't show this to you guys very much because usually it has video ideas and stuff on it and I don't want you guys seeing all that information um, ahead of time especially. But there you go, I really have loved decorating that. And yeah, I think that's it. It's not really a much of a plan with me. It's just like, look how I moved things around. Look how I reorganized things. Look how I planned out my week for this week. Look at stickers. It's just kind of a, a look peek kind of video. I may end up showing you guys my daily planning page throughout the rest of the week as I go. If I use the daily pages, I'll probably insert a clip of them in here. But other than that, I think this video is done. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys like looking at my various things. I do have a new customer coupon for the Erin Condren goodies. I've got a Hubman and Chub Girl coupon. I've got a Moxie Life coupon. I've got a Sprouted Planner coupon. So check the description box for all the relevant things. I've walked through all of these planners aside from the Wonderland. I haven't walked through that one yet, but it will come soon. Be sure to like, subscribe, and have a great day, guys. Bye.